Well, Kenya Power should be allowed to focus on commercially viable undertakings if the company is to claw its way back to sound financial footing. This was one of the issues that Energy CS nominee said would dominate his priority focus if he secures Parliament's green light to be the Cabinet Secretary in charge of energy. David Sitcher revealed that Kengen and other independent power producers are owed over 23 billion shillings owing to Kenya Power's financial woes. We must decouple. I think what, what we did sometimes was the generator is Kengen, the transmission is Kentraco, the off-taker is Kenya Power. But if you seriously look at how you operate today, Sometimes, and rare, does the social obligation of doing the last mile and the, uh, providing power to our homes. When you look at um, the decoupling of services between Kenya Power and rare, I think rare today is called uh, RERAC, uh, Rural Electrification and uh, Renewable Energy Corporation. You cannot draw a clear line on who does what. Kenya Power tend to do more of social work, which cannot really, uh, as a commercial entity, the social work should be done by RARE, and which is funded by government. So we don't fund RARE, and yet the work is being done by Kenya Power, and then they owe one another.